After dividing a polynomial, you get 3x squared minus 11x plus 51 minus 113 over x plus 4. What is the dividend? The dividend is what's being divided. And so with this one, I need to find the dividend. They gave me my quotient. My quotient is given right here. That's my quotient. That's my answer after the division. They gave me my divisor. They gave me what I am dividing my polynomial by. I'm dividing it by x plus 4 because I know how to read remainders. So in this case, I'll have x plus 4 being divided into some polynomial. And my answer would have been 3x squared minus 11x plus 51 minus 113 over x plus 4. That's what my answer would have been. When I think about dividing something, if I was dividing 12 by 3, I would get 4. 12 is my dividend, 3 would be my divisor, 4 would be my quotient. If I didn't know that I had 12, so if I had something divided by 3 equals 4, and I wanted to know what that something was, I would multiply 3 by 4, and that would tell me what my dividend was. And I'm going to use that same logic and that same thought to solve this problem. So if I don't know what's being divided to get an answer, I'll just multiply the answer by the divisor and that'll give me what was originally being divided, which is called the dividend. So I'm going to take my divisor, which was x plus 4, and I'm going to multiply it by three x squared minus 11 x plus 51. And then I'm going to remember that it wasn't a perfect multiplication. I'll then have to subtract the 113, the remainder that was left over once I did it. All right, so you would do x times three x squared, x times negative 11 x, x times 51, you do 4 times 3x squared, 4 times negative 11x, 4 times 51, you would end up with 3x cubed minus 11x squared plus 51x plus 12x squared minus 44x plus 204 and then don't forget that you have to subtract 113. Once I combine all of my like terms, I would get that the original polynomial must have been 3x cubed plus x squared plus 7x plus 91. And I could check it. I could take x plus 4, divide it into 3x cubed plus x squared plus 7x plus 91. I could do that. And I can only hope that once I do all of that work, I get a remainder of 113. And I can only hope that my quotient would be 3x squared minus 11x plus 51. Well, actually I get negative 113. And then I will minus the 113 over x plus 4.